بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay, so now we'll try to set up the uh, topology with the uh, based on IVU devices here for our VPN labs. So mainly, I'm going to use a Flex VPN. So we'll create a new blank project where I'm going to save it as a Flex VPN with IVU devices running some kind of 15.0 iOS versions. We can even change the path or save wherever you want. I think I have the similar name here. Now the next thing uh, I will be using the three routers topology where I'll be running 15.0 iOS version. So we need to make sure that you do already have that image inside the preferences already added. If I go to edit preferences, you'll find the IVU device. So if if the IVU device is not added again, you need to go back and run that IVU device. So I'm not doing that again because again, if you refer the basic GNS3 tutorials in that you will see how to add the IOU image, uh, whether it is an L2 or L3 image, you can just browse and you can do that. So this is something I'm not doing because there's something already there. So I do have the image. So I'm going to use this image, uh, which is actually listed here. So I need to just drag and drop this device. I'm going to change this as router one. And I'm going to duplicate these devices here router two and then again i will duplicate because i need a four five devices so let's do that so we do have this router three and the router four i need one more device uh, which will be acting as my service border device so that will be router five if you want to add more devices you can also add so now this is going to be acting as my service border the same uh, topology what we have used in our uh, configurations of the VPN. Now, in terms of port setup, we'll see what are the different ports. I think there are four Ethernet ports that will be sufficient to connect because uh, I think I need one, two, three, four here. So, if you just want to increase, you can add the additional ports. Now, mainly here you'll see the Ethernet ports here, and these are the Ethernet ports. Now, now we need to understand here the difference. In the ports actually here when you go and configure when you talk about the network now we have these serial interfaces you can also use these serial interfaces or the ethernet because one ethernet slot actually have uh, four ports and that's the reason it, it actually supports uh, four ports means total if i use two adapters that will be sufficient so if i'm using two adapters you can see e0 slot and then there are second is e, e1 by zero slot or just for the sake of uh, simplification, you can always go with the serial interfaces as well. Again, it's up to you. You can just go whatever the interfaces you want. Uh, generally, serial interfaces is something what we have been using. If you want to, just for the change, you can even use uh, different interfaces. So let me go with uh, these interfaces here. I'll go with Ethernet. So I'll connect E0 by 0. Interface goes and connects to my uh, E0 by 1 here, and then E0 by 2 goes and connects to here. It's the same thing again. The IP addressing part we have to change a little bit. So I'm using E0 by 0 here, and then you can the router 4 is E1 by 0. So I'm connecting to E0 by 0. So these are my connections. So I'll quickly start the devices and we'll uh, try to get into the console as well. And once we're in the console, we'll also try to open up the console for the remaining devices as well. Now, getting into the configuration, the initial configuration wise, if you could, if you start with the router Pi, again, the, the main thing here, we will be uh, verifying the version. It's using some 15.4 iOS version based on the IOU. And you just need to uh, see whether it supports the crypto IQ2 version commands or not. So not only this, even if you are trying to implement any other uh, specific lab, make sure that you are running this. You, you do have the support for the commands, whatever the technology you want to implement. 
So in this lab, probably this is something what I'm documenting for the Ike uh, Flex VPN, Ike V2 Flex VPN. So I'm going to verify that. Now moving on to the initial configurations, as we know. So if you just observe the topology here, I'm using this port. So I'll try to rename the ports what I'm using. Now I think this topology is based on the IWAS V or that's something I think. I'm using so there will be a differentiation in the port numbers depending upon which platform we use for the labs. And here I'm using E0 by 1, E0 by 2, and then E0 by 3, and then E1 by 0. So there is a difference in the port number. So accordingly, I need to adjust my initial configurations. So of course, you can also go and use the serial interfaces as well. Uh, in my case, I'm going to use the router one, this is going to be E zero by zero. And this is going to be your IP address for serial interface. And then the LAN interface, I, I didn't decide the LAN interface, what I'm going to use here. Probably I can use any of the other interface like E zero by one, or, or I can just go ahead and create a loopback interface as well. So for this, anyway, I'm going to use E0 by 1, which is going to act as my LAN interface, OK? This is 1.1, .1, no shutdown command. And then exit interface, I'm going to say 15.005. That's the next stop. So this is the configuration on the router 1. We'll do it. Let's quickly do this on the router 1. So this is on a remote server. So I, so this configuration, we had to do it on the router one. So quick configuration on the router one side. And done. Now let's move to the router two on the router two side. Again, I'll be using this as E0 by zero. And then this is going to be my E0 by one. And then the next stop is 25.005. So this configuration is on the router two. So hopefully it's correct. Anyway, we'll do the verification. Now here again, I need to change this E0 by zero. And then this is E0 by one, 35.003. The next top address is 35.005. So this is on the router three. Now likewise on the router four, I'll be using E0 by zero. And then it's 45.005, the next stop. And the LAN interface, I'm using E0 by one here. Now again, you might be using, uh, you might be using a different iOS versions. Let's say if you're using the CSR or, or if you're using the I was V, then you might get those gig interfaces as well. And likewise on the router, this is going to be E0 by zero. And then this is E0 by one. And then this is E0 by two. I need to see on the router five. I think it starts with E0 by zero. And then it ends on three. So did I connect? Let me quickly see the connections here. I think I used E0 by one and two and three here. So I'll, I'll try to replace this. I'll go in order here. I'll start with zero and then it's okay, I think. It's fine. I'll, I'll use three going to three. That will avoid confusion. The fourth one itself is going to be E0 by zero. Okay. Now, as for my connections, I'm using E0 by one, two, three, going to router one, router two, router three. So let me. So 
So this is going to be e0 by 1, which goes and connects to router 1, e0 by 2, e0 by 3, and then this is e0 by 0. So there's no routing configure or configuration required here. So I can just simply go to router 5 and just paste these configurations. Make sure that the interfaces are up and running. The final thing what I'll do is I'll try to verify the connectivity. So we need to make sure that we do have reachability to router 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to ping to 15.0.0.1, which is router 1, and then 25.0.0.2, which is router 2, and then 35.0.0.3, which is router 3 from the router 5. And then we have the next one that is router 4. Now, once we have the connection, now we'll try to verify the reachability from end to end because we do have the default route, which means from the router one, I should be able to reach out the router two, as well as I should be able to reach out router three, as well as I should be able to reach out router four. So this basically uh, provides end to end connectivity as well. Now, if we just try to see, this is the same thing what we did. Now, if you are implementing even the DMVPN or GRE labs or even IPsec, probably you can just set up based on the IVU as well. Because the initial labs, when we discussed the GRE or DMVPN, I have shown you the things like, um, like based on the IBS, you can also use based on the IVU as well. So the, nothing will change. The only difference is the ports and the GNST setup will, will be the difference.